Here's the Samsung Tab S8. I'm gonna show you how to set this up step by step, but this will also work for the S8 Plus as well as the S8 Ultra too. Okay, so first thing is go ahead and turn your tablet on. And then first thing is you should be in the welcome screen here. Go ahead and choose your language down here. So for me, I'm fine with English in the United States. I'm gonna tap on start right there. And now this right here says for your review. Now you can go ahead and read the details, but in order to proceed, you must at least choose the first two, okay, in order to go ahead and proceed. The third one here is optional, okay, that's up to you. For me, I'm fine with having all of them checked and then tap on agree. Permission for Samsung apps and services, you can go ahead and read through these, but you can see these three here are toggle on. So that's up to you. For me, I'm fine with having all of these toggled on. I'm gonna tap on agree. I'm gonna choose my Wi-Fi network now so I can get the uh, latest update right now, or you can always go ahead and skip it and connect to the internet later, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and connect now. So here's my Wi-Fi. Let me put in my Wi-Fi password. After you put in your password, tap on connect. It said connected. Checking for updates, this may take a few minutes. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more from a different device, okay? So if you have stuff that you wanna transfer from a different device, you wanna click on next right here, and you will need a uh, old Android, Android tablet, Android phone, an iPhone, or even a iPad, okay? So if you wanna go with uh, transfer from an old device, tap on next. For me, I'm gonna go back here, what I'm gonna do is tap on don't copy. I want a clean, fresh slate on this tablet. So for me, I'm gonna go with don't copy. Now it's asking you to sign, to your, sign into your Google account, your Gmail, okay? You can go ahead and sign in now. You can go ahead and create an account, or you can go ahead and skip. You can go ahead and skip, and you can sign in later if you wish. For myself, I'm gonna skip, skip, and I'll just sign in at another time. Google services, now all three of these use location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? You can still um, accept like this and proceed, okay? For myself, I'm fine with having all these toggled on and I'm gonna click on accept. Protect your tablet. I would advise, do not do not skip this. Put it in some kind of password in now, okay? So we can do face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin, or password. For myself, I'm just gonna do a pin right now and that's just going to be a four digit. So let me first type my four digit in now. After you type it in, tap on continue, and then tap it in, type it in one more time to confirm. And then I can click on okay right there. And now I'm eventually going to set up my um, fingerprint ID and my face ID password at another time, okay? But you can always set that, that up later. As long as you have the password or pin or pattern in right now, uh, you should be okay for now, all right? So we're still sitting here, sitting here at the getting your tablet ready. This may take a few minutes. Samsung account, they're asking you to log in with your uh, email and your password. If you don't have a Samsung account, you can go ahead and create one now, or you can always go ahead and skip it, and you can go ahead and uh, skip it, and you can sign in later, or you don't have to sign in later if you don't wish, up to you, okay? Anyway, we're all set up here. You can go ahead and tap down here, explore your Galaxy, and you can read through all these tips here, okay? Once you're done, you can just tap on the back here and then tap on finish. And then voila, we are in business, guys, all right? Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just uh, comment below. Good luck, guys. Bye.